College football kicks off tonight in North Dakota with one of the very first games in the entire country. And it's a historic occasion. Our Luke Gamble joins us live from Jamestown, where the University of Jamestown is getting set to host Valley City State. Luke, what can you tell us about just how big this game is tonight? Hey, Phil, historic is right. The Jimmies and the Vikings have played more than any other two teams have played in a single matchup in the entire state of North Dakota. But it's only been 75 years since the inception of the Paint Bucket Trophy, a piece of this rivalry that centers around fun football and animosity. A trophy mocked up to represent a paint bucket. It's one of the most unique prize possessions you'll find in college football and it brings bragging rights for 365 days a year to teams separated by just 35 miles. It's just another game is what I want to say, but it's not. <laughs> it's been more than just a game for 108 years, a rivalry sharpened by some playful vandalism, most notably spray painting the winning score on the opposing team stadium. The presidents got together and said, you know, here's an opportunity to to eliminate the vandalism and the trophy was born. The paint bucket trophy has been passed back and forth since 1961. With Valley City owning a 62 to 52 advantage with four ties mixed in as well. It's the outside of what your normal football, even us, it's knowing the, uh, you know, the attention on our uh, you know, that our program at the time from our, like I said, from the community, from our alumni around the area, or, you know, around the nation, that people, there's interest. The rivalries go beyond the field. Private versus public school, recruiting the same athletes, academics between nursing and education, the geography between the two schools, and it all comes to a head between the lines. It's just gotten bigger and better. And uh, the rivalry is, is, I think, just as intense, but it's what makes it a great friendly rivalry. For everyone involved, there are endless memories, whether they are from wins or from losses. But at the end of the day, the Jimmies and the Vikings care about just one thing. You don't, you know, want to do anything that diminishes your chances of, you know, getting that bucket or retaining that bucket or, um, you know, the incentive is, is there for the coaches. The incentive is there for the players as well, especially the ones who have tasted both victory and defeat. You know, I was lucky enough to be a part of a win my freshman year for it, so I felt bad, and that's an awesome feeling. You know, I felt a loss in this game, so I mean, it stings a little bit more than some of them, I'd say, but the winning feeling is unexplainable. <laughs> To add to the intensity of this rivalry, this will be the first time in 60 years that they've had a, a night game here in Jamestown out here on the brand new turf field. So when the lights shut off tonight, only one team will be taking home that trophy. Phil, can't wait to see who's taking home the paint bucket trophy this year. For now, live in Jamestown, I'm Luke Gamble for KX Sports.